Hey guys, what's up? All right, we just got 10.69.3. This should be a big release. I'm already hearing really good things. From here, all I need to do is double tap to turn it on. So it immediately turns on. It should have gone right there, but it turned left. So it's gonna exit out of here a little bit different than what I would have done. So it could go around that. Uh, there was a little kind of U-turn cul-de-sac area over there on the left. It could have done that, but it chose not to. So it's just gonna come up here to John Drive and then take a right. So take a look at this, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm coming up to a stop sign here and there is a bicyclist that comes out of a driveway here. Watch, here he comes and he's coming uh, out onto the road and my car is proceeding forward. He's on the wrong side of the road. My car, without any hesitation, goes around him super smoothly, very naturally, like there was no care in the world. I absolutely love that. I thought that was the coolest interaction there ever. It's a little bit early to tell, but in this version, it comes to the intersection. Previously, in other versions, it would be a little bit slow and awkward, but it goes to this creep limit and then it commits and moves through the intersection. It goes faster than it had in the past. I think that's an improvement. Again, it might be a little bit too early to tell, but I did like the way it handled that. Okay, so we have a bicyclist on the right and he is waiting. Uh, technically he could go. Autopilot pause waiting for our turn. It might be waiting for this bicyclist. So uh, my car is patiently waiting, I think, because he does have the right of way. And that car there is taking the advantage to go. Uh, let's see what my car decides to do. It is waiting for our turn. In other words, it looks like it's waiting for the bicyclist, but I'm gonna just press it forward because that bicyclist was clearly not going. So I am going to press it forward. It's strange that he would just kind of sit there. So the car behind me, I'm looking in my rear view mirror. He, he also didn't go for that car. So it's like he's waiting to be extra super safe. So that's smart. This is not a pedestrian friendly area. You, you have a lot of people that are just driving maniacs and not paying any attention to any cyclists. All right, so the right turn signal turns on and we get into the far right turn lane, which is the only turn lane here. And it's going to be turning right. So this is Roselle Road. It just came through the back roads and we are turning right on a yellow arrow. So did that really well, avoided the construction cone there. Made me a little bit nervous, but it made it through there just fine. And now what's gonna be really interesting is this left turn coming up here again on Bradley Lane. This is an unprotected left looking for some steering, some force on the steering wheel. Okay, so here we go. Changing lanes to follow route. Good, okay, left turn signal's on. We're looking for a brake. Nicely done, well chosen. All right, so we have arrived. So there was a little flicker there on the screen and I think that might be one of the bugs that I was hearing about on Twitter. They're probably gonna have a patch for that pretty soon. So I'm just gonna pull over here and then dial in the second destination. All right, so at this point, my GoPro camera freezes. I think it might be the hyper smooth algorithm the camera's running. Not sure what's causing it, but the rest of the drive was pretty smooth. It did an, a decent job. Overall, I was impressed with the turns through the intersections. It seemed to stay closer to the vehicles. It didn't hesitate or break like it usually would. It was a lot more awkward in the past. Also, uh, the turns just seem a lot smoother, and I do like the interface on the car a lot better. So overall, the improvements are noticeable, which I haven't been able to say for the past, let's say, five or six releases or more. Um, I really haven't noticed any substantial improvements, but here it is noticeable. So for that, I'm very thankful. And I think Tesla did a great job with this one. Yeah.